Today is the ultimate Japanese convenience store challenge. Putting the three most popular stores up against each other and finding which store has the scariest, the most delicious, and most unique foods in all of Tokyo. As I'm sure you guys know, convenience stores in Japan play an absolutely massive role in the eating culture here. From breakfast to lunch to even sometimes dinner, people go to the convenience store and eat from the convenience store every single day. So today we're gonna absolutely like jolt ourselves into this culture by trying all three of the top convenience stores of Family Mart, Lawson, and 7-Eleven. So first up, breakfast time, I'm arriving to Lawson. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna determine which place is best based on different types of foods. Okay, so let's get to adventuring around and finding our food. Okay, now first impressions, Lawson has a tremendous aisle of ready-made food here. Tiny burritos, <laughs> looks to be a bread roll with soup in the middle, kind of bento box dim sum-ish thing. So the choices are not making it easy. <laughs> it might be dangerous to start off this challenge this way, but let's get some curry. Now, number two is the sushi area. So normally at these different convenience stores, they have all different types of sushi, ranging from like salmon to tuna to stuffed sushi of like egg and crab. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> Third section are the snacks. And some look absolutely delicious and others tend to scare me. So at each place, we're gonna choose a snack that I genuinely want to try and also a snack that strikes a fear into me. So it's going to be all based on the packaging itself. <laughs> oh my god. Two kids crying on the front cover. Normally would not get that, but I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is this like a mini burger? I feel like I need to get that. Now, section number four are the cold beverages here. Blueberry, kiwi, strawberry, or peach is the question. Kiwi seems cool. The fifth being the, both the dessert section, both the frozen and also the bakery aisle. I want to get something that I haven't really seen before. All right, so I'm going to choose this one because it's an absolute mystery. There feels like there's something inside there. And of course, number six, the actual hot ready-made food at the front counters normally. I'm really attracted to the Hello Kitty bun because I've never seen a bun that looks like that before. Uh, uh, yes. Hello Kitty. Huh? Hello. 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 So unfortunately in like most convenience stores in Japan that specific Lawson did not have a seating area but honestly I don't even mind like take a look at the beautiful view we have of the Tokyo sky tree but before diving into this incredible looking food I just wanted to lay out the grading structure of how we're going to determine which place is the best so we have six different foods and each one of those foods is going to be on a scale of one to ten factoring in five points from deliciousness and also five points from quality so yeah with that said let's dive into this food also i'm way too excited to get started off on this challenge today so put a three minute timer on we're gonna do this at rapid fire okay so let's have the first bite of this absolutely epic journey that we're on today oh man yeah it's just a jolt to wake up, wow. It does have that overpowering flavor that you know it's a curry. But also it has these sweet, almost like orangey undertones of flavor. Oh man, and the Hello Kitty bun. Oh, just take a look at the cuteness on that thing. I'm sorry, Hello Kitty. Oh, it's like a custard apple inside. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I... A thought occurred in my head, like, I want to get these out of the way, I want to get it over with. I don't know. There was just somebody that just laughed at me. There, <laughs> Literally, these people just, like, they walked by, and they were just like, ah, oh, <laughs> he's got that snack. Oh, no. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, that is definitely curry. I'm starting my day off strong, man. Two curry dishes in the morning. It's gonna be an interesting day. Oh, my gosh, but I just lifted it out of the pack, and they're almost, like, sticky. Oh, it's completely fine. There's like a mild curry taste on it. It's actually really good. Now, I'm a fan though. I don't know why this package has kids crying on the cover of them because I'm a fan. Yogurt smoothie in the morning. It almost tastes like a yogurt you would have when you were a kid, 
but just with like more substance in it, like more actual strawberry. No, it's actually a really good drink. I'm enjoying it. The sushi. Having two different rolls of one being an omelet and crab, and the other being maybe a tuna, lots of mayo and cucumber. I'm back in Japan. <laughs> I'm probably gonna mention it a bunch today throughout this video, but sushi, it's one of the most perfect foods in the world. And we have arrived to dessert hour. I'm gonna get started off with the burger dessert. Never thought I would be saying that. Okay, now it makes sense. So they're burgers, but they're mini chocolate burgers. The bun is a wafer, the meat is chocolate, and the cheese is what looks to be some sort of like cream. I might be crazy, I might be just like hyping up too much. The bun, when you bite into it, it's almost like it kind of has the texture of a hamburger bun. Now, in terms of the mystery dessert here. <laughs> you guys are gonna, I'm pretty sure it's curry. <laughs> I'm sitting here waiting for this like just burst of sugar. And then it's just like, nope, you got another curry dish. Okay, so before getting onto the second place of this challenge, today's video is brought to you by Turo. And if you don't know, Turo is the online marketplace where you can rent over 850 different makes and models of cars from people like you and me in over 5,500 different cities in the US, the UK, Canada, and Germany. Now, the reason that I've used Turo in the past is first because of the convenience. You can literally have Turo delivered to wherever you're staying, wherever you are, or even at the airport. Now second is because renting a car can honestly be pretty expensive, but Turo is on average 30% less than traditional car rental companies. Also the app makes it super fun to like find your dream car, like oh, just take a look at that Tesla Model 3. So anyway guys, be sure to use the link in the description box below to sign up and also use my promo code LIVINGBOBBY for $15 off your first trip. Honestly guys, Turo is the most convenient way to rent a car with no way Waiting times and also is for me that I found it the cheapest way to rent cars as well so definitely check it out by clicking the link in the description box below but anyway we got a challenge to get back to let's get on to the second place all right let's see what we're working with here a nice looking okonomiyaki bunch of rice dishes fortunately only one sushi omelet dish so I think that one's gonna be my ready-made food choice. Now in terms of beverage, they actually have a surprisingly good selection here. Like they have all of these and then over there as well. Ah, that's the beverage that I had in the dollar challenge. <coughs> what the? To be honest, this one kind of attracts my attention. It says energy banana. So it might be an energy drink, but definitely is a smoothie. And then there is the snack section. This is always my favorite section, just like walking around and looking at all the different types of snacks here. Ah, oh, jeez, why do I do this to myself? This is like some sort of devil guy on the package. But do it for the challenge. What is this guy here? It's like a hot dog, a fried hot dog chip. Okay, that, that one's like what snack dreams are made of. So it looks like they have a fried section, a sausage area again. Spicy fried chicken, kind of like a yakitori station. To be honest, I think yakitori is a really good way to see if a place is good or not, so I'm gonna try the meat. Hello. The uh, grilled chicken thigh. Now, first impressions of Family Mart, I was super impressed by the variety of snacks they had. In not too big of an aisle, they had a pretty good amount of different snacks that I had never seen before. However, and I know it doesn't really reflect on the brand, but seeing that they only had one box of sushi left was a little bit like, uh... Okay, let the Family Mart feast begin. Seeing that they warmed up the omelet, I'm gonna start with that one. So it's egg, it's this barbecue rice, and then that sauce on there. The egg is surprisingly well made and fresh. It's both fluffy, but also moist. So for the hot food of Family Mart, I decided to go with two of the yakitoris. One being just a normal chicken thigh, which looks pretty damn juicy. And the other being a chicken breast skin with a punch, and I mean a bunch of soy sauce just slathered on there. That's good flavor, man. Mm. Oh. Oh. I couldn't get it off this thing. Okay, so I'm happy that I got two yakitoris here. I'll tell you why, because the first, it really displayed the meat quality, and to be honest, like, it's 
good meat quality. Most of it's meat, but then there's a little bit of fat on there, giving it like a nice rich flavor. In terms of this guy, I didn't have any problem with the flavor, but as you saw, like when I was pulling it off, it got almost like stuck on the stick there, which normally leads me to believe that this stick has been in that hot machine for quite a long time. So one being really good, the other being like, kind of an average below average of the way. So let's see if this is just bananas slash if I'm gonna be bouncing off the wall for dinner. That is the weirdest drink I've ever tasted. It's like you can taste carrot chunks in there, but also there's like a hint, like an aftertaste of banana. I mean, I don't mind it. I wouldn't drink it every day, but it, I can appreciate it. <laughs> oh, totally forgot about the Philly cheesesteak bun. Oh my gosh, there it is. Wow, and let me tell you, this bun, like of course it has just been taken out of the steamer there, but I'm impressed by how moist the outside of the bun is. It legit tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. It's like a Philly cheesesteak with bread that's like morphed together with the steak and cheese. Making an effect almost like if you got like a wet Philly cheesesteak. But the flavor was there. And then there was sushi. In terms of the freshness of the fish and rice, it's spot on. But rice is that perfect fluffy, airy, sticky sensation. Even though it was the only sushi roll available and I probably wouldn't have taken this one, I'm a fan. All right, and then there was snack time. I'm gonna start off with the hot dog one because if this is just like ruinly hot, I wanna be able to taste how this one is. <laughs> wow, that is so weird. Oh. Holy crumb. I mean, I like it, but let me try to just explain this snack to you guys. The outside is flavored there with this different combination of like cheesy and salty seasoning. And then when you bite into it, you're actually greeted with even more seasonings on the inside. I'm impressed by the snack. These just look like death. Like if you just take a look at the pack there, there's like a little devil right there. And also an even bigger one on the side. And the fact that I don't understand any of the words on this package doesn't really help. These things are big, man. <laughs> okay, looking at this, this is not your normal chip. This is like three chips combined in one. And also the texture doesn't really feel like a chip either. Making me just kind of wonder what this exactly is here. All right, I'm going all in. I feel like I just drank a glass of pepper. Holy crap, man. I mean, it's spicy, but it's not crazy spicy, but the pepper, it's just like, like this mystery snack. I, I don't mind it, but I just don't know when you would have it. <laughs> so let's wash it down with some carrot banana drink. And I'll see you guys at dinner time. All right, so dinner time is the big boy. The store that's famous in all parts of the internet and also for me has a special place in my heart. And I purposely decided to leave this place until dinner time because I wanted to give the other two a chance. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 7-Eleven. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. Don't mind if I do. Turn on the adventure music. We're going on a full on exploration of 7-Eleven. What? It's like a hot dog egg sandwich. Freaking like double cheeseburger. Chicken cutlet that actually looks majorly good. A little like foot long hot dog. Ooh, what is that? I think it's like a meat sushi. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, bitch. So many aisles to choose things from. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm legit like overwhelmed in here. Oh man, they have raw fish like octopus here, a chocolate banana crepe. I have never seen a fig drink before in a 7 Eleven. Hello. Excuse me. Do you, have, do you have a favorite hot food item? This one or this one? Okay, cool. I'll um I'll go with this one then. Oh my gosh, well that can only be defined as an absolute adventure. So incredibly excited to dive into everything that we have here. But first up, the only hot item of the cheeseburger. This thing is the cheesiest cheeseburger I have ever seen. Now here's the thing, it's so difficult to make a good cheeseburger when you throw on one specific ingredient. You then rely kind of on that ingredient to be the amazing thing to be the kicker to be the thing that like blows the person that's eating that out of the water and unfortunately the cheese on this cheeseburger 
it wasn't necessarily the most flavorful. Like bun, super good. The patty itself, combined with the grilled onions on there, also super good. The cheese, mm. so anyway, without further ado, let's eat this hot dog egg bao thing. <laughs> Oh no, that is the stuff right there. Holy crap. I mean, obviously the thing that makes or breaks an egg sandwich are the eggs. But what makes an egg sandwich, what brings it to the next level is the mayonnaise and also the base of that bread. But holy crap, when you combine the egg with that sweet Japanese mayo, like, I really wish you guys could taste this because it's, the only way you can describe it is it's what dreams are made of. Okay, moving along. The actual hot food given to us by the recommendation of the amazing 7-Eleven employee. You know, fried chicken is also one of those things that's incredibly difficult to cook when you're doing it quickly. And the reason for that is you want a crispy outside but also a juicy inside. And the reason why I did say it was good is because it does have quite a juicy inside to it. But the outside is not exactly optimal. Although crispy in some spots, it's not necessarily crispy in the entirety of the chicken. Mmm. Now this, this is good. It kind of tastes like an apple sauce, but instead of apples, figs? I don't know, it's, it's wonderful, I like it. I mean, in terms of the actual outside there, it, it looks like a normal potato chip, but the flavor is going to be ridiculously different. I mean, a lot of times you get a chip, the flavoring, it's on the outside here. Like it shows on the packaging or box or whatever that you got it in. And you're like, okay, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna taste like that, like whatever. And normally, you know, there's a nice little aftertaste of that. But wow, this one, it tastes like exactly how it looks on the package. Okay, now, like I said, the reason that I got the gummies for kind of the bizarre thing, I've never been a huge fan of gummies. Like I have nothing wrong with them. Sour Patch Kids, they're wonderful, they're great. My friends love them. For me, I've never been like a massive fan. Okay, so I had the grape one. It's actually not sour at all. It more tastes like kind of a, like a cough drop. <sighs> and then there was the big boy. That is some good stuff right there. Oh man, the banana, the chunks of chocolate, the whipped cream. Like I will say, if you like sugar, this is where it's at right here, man. This is honestly going up there in one of the top Japanese desserts I've had in 7-Eleven. What a incredible day. Really guys, when you come to Japan, you have to 100% check out all of these convenience stores. They all have incredible things. There's honestly an incredible amount of flavors, products, and overall culture to be felt inside. So thank you guys for watching. This was such a fun video to film. Definitely leave a comment down below. I love reading through them. Your comments mean so much to me. And also, it's just super fun to start a community discussion on here.